Yes. Uh, I've been in the law enforcement field now for about 42 years. Um, I've been a police officer, a deputy sheriff, homicide detective. Uh, I've been a prosecutor for major crimes and um, murder cases. I've also been in the military where I was a special agent in counterintelligence. What skills do you believe today's law enforcement personnel need to have? That's interesting because I was just discussing that in one of my classes. And we talked about Vollmer and Wilson back in the early 1960s and 70s, discussing that law enforcement personnel need to have skills in sociology, psychology, criminal justice, writing skills. It changed from the old six foot two, 250 pound person that could throw handcuffs on somebody. The ability to communicate with people at different levels is essential. In today's society, when I got into a police car, we had nothing, not even a radio, but our nightsticks. Now it's like getting into a cockpit of a 172 Cessna. You've got so many things you have to turn on, calibrate, and be familiar with in order to just move the vehicle, run radar, or to even write a report. What makes the criminal justice major at Weber unique? When I came here and I was asked to create the program, what I did was I looked at the foundation of the university, its history since 1927 as a business school. And I looked at my history of what I went through and all the different positions I held, and I tried to merge the program together with a business background and a criminal justice. So we have 11 core courses in business and 11 core courses in criminal justice. The importance of that is it prepares you to go into the academy, it prepares you to get through the academy successfully, it prepares you to enter the field successfully, move up the ranks, and then once you do, as a first line supervisor, as a manager, you have the business side along with the specific criminal justice side. And one of our uh, sheriffs from Highlands County had told two of my interns that the degree was perfect for the simple fact that she was, or is, was and is now, a business person. She's given a budget, she runs the agency. If she comes up a month before the end of the year and she's short money, she's got a problem. So she needs to have the business skills. What are the biggest benefits of taking the criminal justice major class in the weather? What I've tried to do is have all of our instructors and our professors have at least 20 to 25 years of experience in the field, a minimum of a master's degree. We have internship programs which go from Homeland Security to law offices, to prosecutor's offices, to sheriff's departments, and they can also be done over the summer in your own home state if that's where you go. We also have something called the American Criminal Justice Association. It's an opportunity for individuals to learn management skills while they're within the organization and they get to go to compete at national events where they meet other professionals, other students, other professors, and they compete in academics such as corrections, law, criminal procedure, crime scene. They also compete in physical agility and it's everything geared towards not only what's in their major, but what's going to be in their academy and what they're going to see when they get into the actual field. Also, the type of courses we have set up are designed to work and interchange with each other so that we can continuously provide them with the information they need to do the job once they get out into the real world.